When it comes to tests and trials from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have one of two choices. You can either deal with the pain right now and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or you can delay dealing with the pain, seeking the pity of others, seeking help from others, and prolonging the pain without any recourse. And it's very important to understand the cycles that individuals go through when they go through pain. When they lose someone that they love, when they feel betrayed by an other individual, the very first reaction they have is to isolate themselves. They want to be alone. Now this is more significant when it comes to men. Because men naturally like to deal with their own pain. They don't like to speak about it. Women naturally like to speak about their pain and suffering. And that's why their first reaction is going on the phone, going to see their mothers, going to see their friends. However, when it comes to true pain, at one time or another, you will try to isolate yourself. And this is the first thing you need to recognize that this is not what you want to do. This is not a natural reaction, but rather it is shaitan telling you that you will feel better when you're alone because you're the only one that understands what you're going through. It is a deception from shaitan. So while you may need to be alone for a little while, prolonged isolation is very harmful and detrimental to your situation. What you want to do at that time is that short period of time, once you've gotten over that initial rage, that initial pain, then after that you need to get around the believers. You need to get around people who are going to remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what every individual who's going through pain and suffering needs to realize. That this point of pain and suffering is not that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to punish you, but rather this is a calling from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh my slave, come back to your Lord. Oh my slave, this is a reminder for you that I want to bring you back to me. And this is one of the wisdoms of trials and tribulations. That while we call each other on the phone, while we text message each other, the calling of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes through trials and tribulations. And you can react one of two ways. Either you can deal with the pain at that moment and decide to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or you can decide to just restrict that pain to yourself, not do anything about it, and then you'll see what it does to your deen. And this is the last stage of the cycle of isolation. That once you're isolated, you'll see that eventually your deen starts to disappear. The content of your salah, the khushu on your salah, it disappears. Your ability to recite the Quran is no longer there. Your ability to fast during the day, it gets taken away. What did you do differently? What you did differently was you gave yourself into shaitan. And shaitan's promise is that he will lead you astray. He will lead you away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in times of trials and tribulation, you need to seek out the believers. You need to seek out the righteous and let them be your guide and help to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أمة الإسلام بشرى إننا نلمح فجرا في شباب قد أشادوا صحوة للدين كبرى